Hello everyone, my name is Cosmic and welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. Last episode, we started off our journey winning a mansion in a contest we didn't even enter. And in this episode, I'm actually just going to show you something real quick before we continue. So if you press start, you can see something here on the screen, as I, I, I assume if you have eyes anyway. Here you can see a screenshot from the Beta E3 2000, I believe it was, Space World Little Showcase, where Luigi opens the door. Oh, and you have the boo at the top. I completely forgot about our Lord and Savior, the boo. Anyways, I just wanted to show it off because otherwise I would not have gotten to it. Let's see if the money has come back because between now and uh, last episode. Oh my god, a poison mushroom. Excuse me, I'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, because between now and last episode, I did actually kind of, like, uh, I saved, I quit. So then we'd be back where we were. The, the, I've already gotten the money there. Okay, so the poison mushroom that we just saw, the purple mushroom, what it will do is it will shrink Luigi down, and you will not be able to use your flashlight. You'll only be able to call out for Mario, and it's very depressing, honestly. Um, but anyways, we've already seen the door opening cutscene stuff. The door has thorns on it, and we're going to bump into some more gold ghosts and a new ghost, which is, depending on your region, either the purple puncher or the pink puncher. I have a different name suggestion. It looks like a mix between purple and pink, which is magenta. Why not call it a magenta marauder? Come on now. <laughs> I feel like that's a good name, right? Surely that is a good name. Look, I, I just, I'm just creative like that. Look, my mind, it, it, I have the mind of a mastermind, all right? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to suck it in. Uh, the stats were on the screen if you did not pay attention, uh, which is perfectly fine. If you just put in this on audio, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, it, it helps me out either either way to, you know, listen to the video. Hi, Gold Ghost, and now, hopefully, no? Okay, apparently the, the purple puncher does not, okay. I remember a purple puncher or a pink puncher. Um, or as I'll call them, the, the Magenta Marauder, um, <laughs> sat here spawning alongside the gold ghost, like, near the end with that gold ghost on its own. But the, uh, pink slash purple puncher has 20 HP, and I believe it knocks out 15 HP from you in terms of its attack. It punches you, as its name <laughs> suggests. Let me just check all of these objects. Okay, there we go, some money. There we go. Is there any money up here? No, there is not. There's usually money up there. There's like coins and then dollar bills. I'm just really unlucky this time around. Anyways, let's go in here because we have yet another ghost. And in fact, we have two ghosts to worry about in terms of being new. We have a garbage can ghost and something that I'll touch upon in a little bit. Uh, the garbage can ghost eats bananas and then drops it on the floor. The bananas cause 5 HP of damage. You just want to suck it up and you want to sit here and suck him in before he's able to spawn in more bananas. He'll try and eat whilst he's being sucked in, which is kind of like ill. Come on now. Um, there we go. <laughs> Hello, gold ghost. Oh god, okay, I thought that was- I thought I was about to get punched by the- by the gold ghost. The reason why I'm not mentioning the second of the two new ghosts in this, um, in this room right now is purely just because I need to get all of the other ghosts out of the way. So I'm gonna try and walk around a little bit. If no ghosts spawn in like they are right now, we can go to this chest of drawers. Garbage can ghost, once again, just in case I forgot to say it, uh, does 40, or has 40 HP of damage, has banana that it can drop, which does 5 HP of damage to you, making Luigi slip and lose some coins. In here, you want to point your flashlight up a little bit, I'd say around about here, and we have our first of, I believe, over 10 speedy spirits. That is a speedy spirit, it has 10 HP of damage, it's basically a gold ghost variant, and um, it can drop money, and, uh, you know, unlike the other ghosts. Uh, who usually drop hearts if they are, like, comboed, I guess. <laughs> um, with the- oh, yay, a heart. Hearts can sometimes drop out of objects as well, as I'm sure you saw in episode one. I'm doing a really bad job of explaining things. <laughs> but, 
in terms of the speedy spirit sometimes they can drop gemstones which we will be seeing in this episode i just need to get rid of you in here thank you boom get in my vacuum there we go and we drop a key down there i have beef with these keys because they always defy gravity excuse me you are not in wicked the musical get down here <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we can see that the key leads here. However, we're a few rooms away and we've got another room to the side of us, which we can instantly access. So let's just quickly go over there before I show off something else that I want to show off. Hello? Oh god, you again. Hello? Where, where, Mario? Where are you? Where? Huh? Luigi? Yes, Luigi. How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, please, please save Mario. I've looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? And with that, we have a toad out here. We can see if we press the... No, that's the wrong button. If we press the uh, X button, uh, obviously the balcony here is obstructing things. But we can see stuff down there if we get to the right angle. Uh, no, wrong button again. Oh, dear. <laughs> you can see there's sort of like a dog bowl or a cat bowl or a pet bowl there. Um, we can examine it, I believe. Which does nothing because we're too far away. We can see the moon out there in the distance. We can see the rather creepy and ominous sort of background, as well as the shattered window. Um, but if we press Z, we can now access our treasure stuff. You could access this at any time after you get the Poltergust 3000 and after you get the Game Boy Horror. I just wanted to save it for now. There's no ghosts here that count towards this right now. Um, but with our money, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five different item slots, I guess. And I, I just look forward to introducing you all to all of the, all of the stuff, uh, that we can get in this game. But anyways, let's go through here and let's press X, I believe it is, once again. Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> Sorry, again, the GameCube controller is rather new to me, even though I have used a GameCube controller for, like, over half my life now. <laughs> so let's press A at the mirror. Yes, so we warp all the way back to the foyer. Excuse me. No, 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 now's not your time. I was explaining something. Rude. Anyway. <laughs> We have been worked back to the foyer. Anytime you see a mirror, there is a mirror here, but I figured it'd be better to show at the wardrobe room where, you know, it was actually useful. Um, you can do this where you can warp back to that sundial uh, in the center of this room. See, we moved about 10 feet away. <laughs> that's pretty much that. That's why I didn't do it here because it's just useless. And it doesn't really get the point across as much as it would if you use the wardrobe room mirror. But anyways... We're going to come up here, and we're going to go all the way to this door. Hmm. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Gad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes, you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Thank you, Egad, for letting us know about the, the escaped gallery ghosts. Their official title is Portrait Ghosts. But let's go through here and immediately just follow this trail of coins. I, I'm sure that the trail of coins leads to something good, right? Yeah, so there's a new thing here as the ghost laughs at us. First off, we have a ghost mouse or ghost mice. The purple ones cling to the ceiling and floors. The uh, blue ones just go across the floor. This door right here, if we press the Y button, we can see that where we are right now, there is actually no... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. There is actually no door. This is what's known as a fake door. You can easily spot fake doors by seeing the, the mats underneath or the rugs underneath. Or you can blow on it because there's no, you know, it's not shaking like, say, this door is. That's very easy. There is a way to get rid of these doors just completely for like a hot minute before the rooms regenerate. But unfortunately, we're not at that point yet. So let's go ahead 
and open this door to find our first portrait ghost. But before we tackle him, as he shows himself there, we're actually going to suck up this book, first of all, because it's annoying. <laughs> and we're going to just look around the room, get some money, and if we go here, our second speedy spirit should await us. So there we go, just suck it in, there we go, suck it in, and we get awarded with a ruby that I will be picking up after I get all of this money. I also desperately need a heart, <laughs> so that would be nice. But anyways, this is a ruby, it's one of five or six gemstones that you could get in Luigi's Mansion. I had to uh, backtrack there a little bit because those are three, there are three standard gems. Go away, go away. We'll talk about you in a sec. <laughs> there are three standard gems, the ruby, emerald, and sapphire. And then there, Luigi, what did you just do? Excuse me. <laughs> I was not talking to you. Go away. I'll talk about you in a sec. However, there are three variants of diamonds that we'll get into when we get into it. Right here, block of cheese. Let's go ahead and, uh, excuse me? <laughs> no, 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 You will, I was going to say, this is a gold mouse. There are gold mouse or mice throughout the, the mansion as well that are hidden in those blocks of cheese or can randomly spawn in. As with all the other ghosts, I have, of course, put their stats on the screen by now. I trust I have. <laughs> if not, that's going to be very embarrassing. But now we can go ahead and talk to this fellow who, who oh so magically just disappears from us. This is Neville, the bookish father, and he spends his afterlife reading. So what we want to do is we just want to turn away. It's very simple. And then when his heart gets there and shows, we can suck him in. He doesn't really do anything other than just look at his book, but you're going to have to fight with him a lot. For me, it's it's easy. It, it doesn't really strain on me too much. What you want to do is you want to aim to get him in one continuous sucking of the vacuum, which sounds awful out of context. <laughs> but, and I say this with, with, um, with care for y'all, there are three variants of Neville's portrait that you can get after you submit him into EGAD. You don't go to don't go to EGAD right now, because you will not get him right now. You have to clear an area to get all the portrait ghosts turned into paintings. So with Neville and every other boss ghost, there are three variants: a bronze portrait, portrait, a silver portrait, portrait, and a gold framed portrait. I should have used framed instead of portrait twice. So basically. You want to aim for the gold portrait because, as you saw, Neville drops those white spheres, which are known as pearls. Each boss ghost, or portrait ghost, sorry, can drop up to four of those smaller medium pearls and one huge pearl. So if you add up the maths, if you know every single ghost off by heart, you'll get well, you'll, you'll get up to 100 pearls at least in one of the categories. But anyways, let's bang on this chest and let's collect our key. <laughs> and as we can see, it heads to the master bedroom. I stayed quiet there because I was like, this is our first portrait ghost. We might as well. And if we press the Z button or the Z button, we can see our stats and we can also see that Neville has been registered. 42 years old and as I said, he spends his afterlife reading books. He's the bookish father. Um, once you capture a portrait ghost, they will appear in your Game Boy Horror, so you can at least learn a little bit about them through that. Um, so let's go on ahead and... Oh, don't touch that mouse, thank you. <laughs> let's go into here. Let's just skip that cutscene, thank you. And we can see the window over there blowing in stuff. Ooh, gold bar, maybe my luck's turning around. <laughs> we can see the broken window blowing in air to us from the other side. And if we... First of all, we got to wait for this fan because it does have money in it. Thank you. We can see a lady here. Let's just blow on this. And we can see that Toad is out there. I didn't want to focus on you. Sorry, madam. Yes, you can go back to brushing your hair and looking wonderful in the mirror. <laughs> now we can talk about her because she, she's right there and we can get her in a corner. This is Lydia. And we will read her bio. You know, you see the portraits and everything. But again, you want to try and suck her in with one suction. It doesn't matter if I get hit by the poison mushroom. <laughs> I get hit right at the end. Wow, rude. As you can see, some coins will fly out and, you know, all of that good stuff. I'm a little bit <laughs> rusty with it. So I'm going to wait for myself to um, a size up, I guess, as I collect the key. And it leads me to 
this room, which should be uh, the, the one that I'm thinking of. Oh god, babies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Luigi, run. <laughs> As we go into here, you'll see that this place is called the nursery. If, if, if it would tell me, excuse me, yeah, the nursery. Yeah, you want to come up slowly, don't you, title? I have beef with a lot of things in this game. This chest of drawers will always have a 50 HP heart for you to use to recover any health. I assume that the game designers knew enough to, to put that there in case you had a little bit of trouble. Just collect all these coins. And what I want to do is I want to leave this ball over here. I, I, I just wanted to drop it, but sure. Um, <laughs> we want to rock this horse and this baby will eventually come out of his cot. Or crib, I guess. I don't know. Hey, wanna play with me? Absolutely not. I hate children. Go away. Boom. Child abuse! <laughs> Call GCPS, which is Ghost CPS. Oh my god. Ow, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itsy, tiny, little, wee, ga 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 ga! Welcome to your boss fight with Chauncey. Chauncey is the boss of Area 1. This baby will send rocking horses at you as a, I, I would assume, a mockery. And then he'll throw the very ball that you threw at him at you. What you want to do is you want to grab the real ball, which can be found after he bounces it off of his car. And you want to start sucking him up. You will not be able to get him in a continuous you know, suckage. Instead, this boss fight and the other four boss fights, because there, no, there, there's only three other ones after this that have these rules. The other three boss fights will also follow these rules. Basically, your health is what determines how how well or what what portrait you get. On the screen, I've got all three of Chauncey's boss portraits, and I believe you have to stay above 90 HP to get the gold portrait. I believe. At least that's the rule that I've always followed. I'll probably confirm it in the title. Uh, you know, the little... Oh my Christ, hello. <laughs> I'll probably confirm it in the little... Um, in the little caption, I mean. Um, we got it down to about... Oh, oh, 32? Not bad. We're at 98 HP. I, I'm not expecting to go through these boss fights without taking some damage. But it would be nice to get the gold portraits for all of Area 1 to at least show that I'm competent. <laughs> so Chauncey, please don't troll me too much, alright? Yeah, you can scream at me all you want. Doesn't matter to me. He'll send faster rocking horses when he's below a certain amount of HP. And he'll also throw, I, I believe, one or two more balls at you. You cannot call for Mario and you do not have access to your flashlight here. I know, very sad. So, he's gonna throw the balls at us again, and we're just gonna, like, sidle along <laughs> to try and avoid all of the balls. And we're gonna... Ah! Ah, go away! No, 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 no! I hate my life. That wasn't even supposed to happen. Get it. Wow. <laughs> wow. That wasn't even supposed to happen. Y'all saw, that was unfair. <laughs> Now I've definitely got the silver portrait. I know that for a fact. Anyways, just gonna wait for him to do his stupid routine again. He's at like 1 HP. How sad. How sad. Oh my Christ. Sorry. I'm almost choking from like laughter of pain. Because it's like really? That? I didn't, I didn't even... Like what? Did I bump into him by accident? Like what did I even do? Don't you dare. Oh my God. He's trying it. Let's bash him in the face. Yeah, you had two HP. Get in my vacuum. Jesus Christ. Ah. 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 
And as we come out of that boss fight, I'm just going to weep about the fact that I, you know what? Let's mimic the fact that we got 100 HP. <laughs> and just pretend like Egad just got something wrong in his poltergeist. Uh, a portrification, Isa, sorry, <laughs> that he told us about, um, I believe, in um, the last episode. As we uh, knock on this gold chest and we see a heart shaped key. <laughs> Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergust 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But, ho oh, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. Hmm? How do we use it, you just, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And presto! Turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Except for Chauncey. You may have flopped. But it's okay. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And at the end of every area, after the ghost portraitificationizer, we see our portraits. We've got a gold on Neville, Lydia. Unfortunately, yeah, you scream at me all you want. You're the one who sabotaged me with that. We've got a total of three ghosts. And at the end of the ghost, you know, portrait scenes, I guess, we get our money. So far, we have 153 coins, $100 bills, two gold bars, one emerald, one ruby, two big pearls, Four, eight, and, uh, or eight medium and small pearls, and our total is 7,965,000 gold. Where will you go, Luigi? Next episode, we'll be heading back to the mansion. I am so upset about the fact that Egad didn't turn that painting into, you know, in what it was supposed to be. Stupid old man, excuse me. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to tell you that you can see his eyes behind his glasses, even though they look like they're opaque. Anyways, <laughs> I will see you guys next time. I'm very upset. <laughs> Bye!